Hi there, so uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do my final, um, uh, well, review video really for the Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, which is also known as, um, geese, don't stand on that, um, Confessions of a Shopaholic. Um, this, I have actually finished this, I finished this today, and it's, it's a very, very interesting read. It's, it's about, 319 pages and the font is actually quite good so it's not too bad um, and it's got a mixture of like font and like little fun little letters and stuff like that um, so I'm just going to read the back of it for you meet Rebecca Bloomwood she's a journalist she spends her working life telling others how to manage their money she spends her leisure time shopping retail therapy is the answer to all her problems she knows she shouldn't stop, but she can't. She tries cutting back, she tries making more money. But neither seems to work. The story she concocts becomes more and more fantastic as she tries to untangle her increasingly dire financial difficulties. Her only comfort is to buy herself something. Just a little something. Can Becky ever, can Becky ever escape from this dream world, find true love and regain the use of her switch card? So, um, I, I'm a big Sophie Kinsella fan. Um, I've read hers, I've got them here actually. Uh, the Undomestic Goddess, brilliant. Uh, Remember Me is brilliant. And Can You Keep a Secret, those three are absolutely amazing. Um, and I just love her style of writing that's just so um, easy to read and, and, and very funny. She's got that kind of comedic kind of sense to it. Um, this book, I went, I went to, I thought, I thought this book was going to be like one of those fun, easy to read type things, and I actually, I really, I did enjoy this book very much. Um, but I found myself getting caught up in Rebecca's crazy shoppingness. You know, she always wants to shop, always wants to spend money, always spends far more, far more than. You want to come up? spends far more than what she needs to um, and for me that was quite stressful to read because she's thinking oh I've got to buy this, got to buy that, got to buy this and, and I'm reading it through her eyes so I'm feeling that as well and it's just weird it was, it was very weird um, so I didn't being honest with reading with this book I didn't really feel as though I could relax. I was always on edge, kind of, you know, like, pre well, pretty much like Rebecca was throughout the story. Um, but it, this book was very, woo, was very entertaining and um, it did have its funny points. And um, um, I'm just trying to think of an instance. Um, definitely Rebecca's um, relationship with her, her um, flatmate was very entertaining because um, the flatmate is obviously is a very rich trust fund type of person and um, Rebecca's trying to live up to that but um, but yeah it's, it's very good I found it very stressful to read no I wouldn't say stressful stressful is the wrong word um, I would say it it was very well I couldn't I couldn't relax reading it um, I just thought of a different word and I just completely went out of my head. Oh, I don't just hate that. I had a few things in my head before I started to press record on this video and just gone, completely gone. Um, yeah, no, can't remember. Um, anyway, a very good book. I've really enjoyed it. Um, not the kind of book that I would sit and relax in, but I'm definitely going to pick up... Um, the rest of the well I think I've got some of the series back here um, but I, I definitely want to follow the story just to see kind of what happens because um, yeah I'm not quite sure what she's going to do next so that would be that'd be very interesting um, but I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 for The Secret Dream World of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella thanks for watching